So before we jump into this video, I just want to disclaim a few things. The first thing is I did not take this photo. This is not my shot. I did not shoot the shot. Just so we're very clear. So many people with these free for all editing contests, they think it's your photo and it's clearly not as stated all the time. So I did not shoot this. This is actually shot by Patricia Horn. The model is Cornella. I think I said that right. And the reason why I'm editing another person's shot is because my friends are holding a free for all editing contest over on Instagram. You can go and check out the raw files with the link in the description. I'm not getting paid to promote this. It's just a bunch of my friends hosting an amazing contest and you get to edit some amazing raw photos by some amazing raw photographers. And I highly suggest you check it out. It's a good way to get yourself out there and just kind of learn from these people and put your own take on their own photos as well. And you could win some really cool stuff. So link for the raw files will be in the description. I will link Patricia's profile as well because she is an amazing photographer and I love her work so much. And I'm so happy I was able to actually edit the shot of hers so once again not my shot this is a part of a free for all editing contest if you want to check it out the links will be in the description number two is you can finally see i got my setup the way i've been wanting it ever since we moved in here so when we moved here in august i've really been going through a lot mentally and i still am but i'm trying to get better every single day and i really just don't have any good shoots lately that i'm like super excited about and super hype about I, it just sucks with the winter and working and everything like that so this free for all contest honestly there's so many amazing raw photos so i really am happy to take my uh version of this photo and edit it for you guys so um just bear with me and thanks again for everyone who supports me every day it just truly means a lot and i'm just really excited for the future and what the future holds and hopefully we'll get some dope shoots in soon so without further ado let's just jump right into lightroom okay guys so here is the raw file straight out of camera and this was on a psd file so i'm really not sure what camera this was shot on so if anyone wants to tell me that'd be really cool to know so with this photo i wanted a fresh new start i wanted a complete new take on my edits and just how i edit photos so i felt like this was a good idea since this is like a foreign file to me so this is the raw you know completely untouched and this is just with basic adjustments but the first thing i did actually was i fixed the crop so the crop was just a little crooked and i'm very a big stickler on lines so i just wanted to make sure this was nice and straight I kind of lined it up with this pole back here and this table and just these lines in general It's just a big rule for me is to always have straight lines It's just how I am so and I brought this over here a little bit just to center her in the frame I'm not even exactly sure if she's centered, but she looks good enough for me So that is what I did first with the crop and then second I actually airbrushed the eyes um I want to see it before and after too that's just before and that's after so what i did was i just kind of brightened them up a little bit brought some detail into them so um, i just airbrushed the irises as you can see right there and just made them look nice and a little brighter and there's some other little things like uh, desaturate them to keep them white and everything like that so that is the second thing i did with the airbrushing and then what I really did was I went through the color profiles and this doesn't have any camera matching profiles, which is what I usually do. So I looked at some of these Adobe ones and they're really cool. This is like a good way to kind of give you a base on what kind of uh, style you want to go for. And I really like this artistic three. I like the way the orange looked and her skin tone and everything like that. So that is what I went along with and just kind of started with my whole base of the photo and kind of the whole mood in the photo. So next is my basic adjustments i didn't really do too much now with this file it's very weird um you don't really have to do a lot to have an impact like the more you do it the more impact it has so i didn't really want to touch this too much and i kind of wanted a whole new approach to my edits so i kind of just you know brought the highlights down a little bit brought the shadows up and brought the whites down to keep them flat and try to crush the blacks just a little bit um and that's what we got here with all the basic adjustments and then down here just brought the clarity down a little bit to give her that softer skin you don't want to you know hdre like portrait you want to have that skin soft and clear so that is why i minus the clarity and i just brought the vibrance up a little bit just to get some color into it and desaturated it just to keep it a little bit desaturated i don't like too much color in my photo i definitely like those desaturated moody photos so 
Next is the tone curve, and the tone curve has the biggest impact on your photo, and I really suggest you guys learn how to use a tone curve if you don't use a tone curve. Um, it's very vital to the mood in your photo. So this is uh, not my normal curve at all. Um, I have used it in the past, something like this, but I kind of just completely went different in this photo. As you can see, the before and after, that really gives it that nice, faded, moody look, and um, you really don't have to do much if you get your tone curve down properly um, and also to these color channels I don't know if a lot of people know about this but there's different color channels and the curves and you can mess with them to add some different colors to your tones as you can see I kind of just very so slightly brought the reds up to kind of get that more red in the picture I really like that you know red uh, look in this photo so that's the tone curve. I went with a completely different curve than my normal curve, and I really like how this uh, mood kind of came out. Uh, next is the huge saturation luminance tab. And I didn't really do much here either, just kind of some basic micro adjustments. This is where you can mess with all your colors and really dial them down and get the colors that you want. Didn't really do too much on this photo. Like I said, this photo was very different with its editing. It's very extreme. Um, the split toning, I didn't do anything in this photo either, but it's a really cool way to um, introduce more colors into your shadows and highlights. Um, the detail tab is just, I added a little bit of sharpening. And if you don't know this, I know most people usually do, but the masking, if you click the masking and hold alt, you'll see the white um, and black. So the more you slide it right, the uh, less white it gets. So pretty much all the white is being sharpened right now. So you don't want to sharpen the whole image. You don't want to sharpen the noise and the background and everything like that. You only want to sharpen the important parts like her eyes and her hair and everything like that. So I dragged it up here to like was um, doing that. And I highly recommend you do that for your photos. So you don't just sharpen the whole photo. Um, lens corrections, transformed effects. I didn't really do anything here besides the lens corrections. I enabled remove chromatic aberration. I don't think there was any in the photo. I just did that to be safe. And then finally is the camera calibration tab. This photo, I didn't really do too much for this photo because I liked the colors, how they looked. Um, I just, you know, brought the reds up a little bit and the greens and put the blues down a little bit to the teal. And that's pretty much about it. I didn't really do much in Lightroom for this photo because like I said, it was a very extreme edit. So I just kind of did a minimalistic, but um, this is before straight out of camera. And this is after with all the Lightroom adjustments on. Um, so now I'm gonna take you guys to Photoshop where we do the rest of the retouching and just color correction and everything like that. Okay guys, so here we are with the photo in Photoshop. This is straight from Lightroom, so I didn't do anything to the photo yet. So first thing I do is create my frequency separation layers. So Jessica Gobesi uploaded an action that you can download. I will link it in the description. It's probably the most helpful action in the world because it literally creates the layers for you. You don't have to do anything. It literally just creates it for you. So I will link that in the description below. So that is what I use to create my layers. So this is before retouch. So um, this is before and this is after frequency separation. So as you can see, it's a, it's, a, it's a massive difference. You know, the colors are blended, the skin's nice and smooth, and it overall just looks a lot better. So once again, before and after. So I still blend in the colors a little bit more in these next layers, but I'm really happy with how this frequency separation came out. So the next layer i removed these bumps up here and over there and everything for the record this model has amazing skin it is super smooth and you really don't even have to do much to it honestly it's very very smooth skin so it's just these little bumps i'm very nitpicky about so just clean that up in this layer right here as you can see before and after just making it you know nice and clean um but like i said she really has amazing skin so you don't really have to even do much um the next layer i blended more here in the cheek and up in here and the chin i don't know why i just really don't like how this blended so i used the clone stamp tool and i blended in here and around here and up here i don't know how good of a job i did but um this is before and after so i did the clone stamp just kind of brushed it around blended these colors in and i brought the opacity down so it wouldn't be like super blotchy and like noticeable so i don't know how well of a job i did i think it looks pretty good though i'm i'm pretty happy with it so Next thing I did was I uh, added some more contrast to it. This wasn't really uh, contrasty when I put it on my phone. So I just added a little bit of contrast to the photo right here. And I really like this mood and how it looks. Um, next is I did my eye sharpening. So 
there's a certain method I do to it and I can link the video in the description as well to learn how to do this and I'll just zoom in you know pretty close because it's very it's not like minuscule but you have to like look to see so there is before and there's after so pretty much what I did was I made a layer mask and I got the brush tool and I just simply brushed the pupils and the iris I never touched the the whites of the eyes I always leave them the same and then I just go over her eyelashes, her eyelid. I actually went over her lip too, and you know, just made that nice and sharp and brought the opacity down as well because I didn't want it to affect it too extremely as you can kind of see like in here. So I just brought the opacity down so it wouldn't have too crazy of an effect. But that is what I do to sharpen my eyes. Um, I can link the tutorial in the description below. And then finally, I just added a selective color layer. It doesn't really do a crazy distinguishable difference, but I kind of made her skin a little bit pinker and just kind of messed with the overall oranges and red of the photo. So that is all the Photoshop uh, retouching I did in this photo right here. And then um, for finally, I crop it for IG. So I just go to the crop tool. Um, it's four by five down here and i think i'm gonna crop it like this just to get that lamp in there you know get the picture frame in there and everything else in the shot so i'm not gonna crop it because it kind of freezes up so i'm not going to do that but that is the final photo so this is before retouching uh, straight from white room and this is after retouching with all the blending and everything like that so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and liked this whole process let me know if you want to see this more often and huge shout out to patricia this is such an amazing photo i absolutely love this photo so much and i had so much fun editing it i really just took a brand new fresh take on this photo and really tried to reinvent myself so i really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this and let me know if you want to see this more often so it is your boy Lane PV back again signing out. I'll catch you next time.